Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the World of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm Mr. Yellow Anonymous from United States of America, playing a map you've never seen on my channel before, and we're going to be playing Progressive Capitals. Let's see how it goes. Playing the map of the week, Lou Beck? Lou something? I don't know. It's a weird-looking Caps map. I've seen people play Capitals on this. I've never played it on this channel, any of my channels. I don't think I've ever made a YouTube video on this. I think I played it once. I know this corner up here is some donkey style kind of deal, so I might go for it. St. Lorenz Nord and Walla Bala Binsel. We'll go for those plus twos, probably. It's also progressive capital, so it's not like that even matters. Probably just want to be somewhere near the middle for cards. Blizzards are also making this kind of choky. Black wants here. I'm assuming this is a bonus. St. Gertrude, yeah. Green caps in the back. That's not bad. Locking down that bonus, but very easy to card block later. So do I cap off my two or my six? Red's capping in the middle for certain, right? Yeah. I think I have good control. Uh, blues over here. Good control for card blocks off of this six, right? It's the only way to connect down with this blocked off. But am I easy to card block here? I mean, whatever. We'll figure it out. I have no idea how to play these settings. We're playing progressive capital conquest on Lou Beck. Hey, trying to tell people what the, the stuff is, man. Okay. No alliances, no fog, no portals, but blizzards are on. I probably should have added alliances just for fun. <clears throat> you love a donkey style deal? What? Hey, man. Hope you're doing well and not too salty about last week. I haven't released that yet. I'm not salty. I'm good. Uh, I spend most of the streams like this, 15% actually watching the stream, 25% listening, 60% wondering, what did Kyle just say? Yeah, you need a dictionary. I should create a dictionary, my own dictionary, for my words. Donkey style kind of deal? Did I say donkey style kind of deal? I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. I just kind of wing my words and they come out. Died at the title to his video, good shit. Aw, oh, what's up, Robert? Yeah. I mean, you got to get an appropriate title for the day, right? Got to get them clicks. I mean, all of you now, you can click like because you're all here. And then we get the like pumped up and then it promotes to more people. And people are like, what? 21 Savage is a fucking scammer? How? And then they come in here and I'll tell them. I'll give you the news. I can draw my farm. I'll farm the fucking drama. Let's go. Donkey Kong, the book of kilted. No, the book of dudes. I could write a book of dudes. It could be done. Green gets five. He's going to knock it. If he feeds, if he fucks this up, you better believe I'm taking it. I hope you lose everything. Oh, you want to break black too? Because you're a rude guy. Are you, you're the kind of guy that does this? Wait, black's cap is vulnerable. How do I get my six up? You're a fucking crazy boy. Yo, Bob the Bub. Thank you for the hundred bits, man. Happy reach around donkey slapper day. Fuck yeah. Abe Hell, by the way, with the prime sub. I think I caught you, but thank you. And Shamorin with the 10 minute uh, follow. Danny, I missed your fucking sub. 15 months of ram dangling. Where's the time gone? It's been an amazing time so far. Thanks for the content. Thank you, bro. How did I miss your sub? 43 minutes ago, I missed Danny's sub. Dude, Danny, don't be mad at me. I love you. I have no idea how I missed that. <clears throat> okay, green is a bonus breaker. He's a dickhole. What do I do about that? Oh, you, we can't allow this. This is bullshit. No way, Jose. You think I'm letting you hold a plus five beside me? I'm gonna make you bot out. I'm also gonna run this three away. Let's go! Did you see Larry David Ramdingo Elmo? No. Don't like the vid? Kilted is a scammer? What's up, Drew? Which Drew are you? That's the question. Set up a game between JJ and Parlox. Oh, they're they're big fans of each other. Wow, dude. Yeah, I already unsubscribed. No, Danny, no. Wait, Alquist Finn. Welcome to uh, YouTube members, man. I appreciate that. I just saw that pop up. The fake Drew. Okay, okay. Oh, Blue's doing stuff. Okay, so Blue... Oh, no. Are you rolling that? Are you nuts? No, okay, you're not. Melentor, whatever this bonus is called. He's going for the plus three. <clears throat> So we're just jockeying for weird bonuses. What's this little thing? This purple snake. 
Ost Lubeck. Can I get Huck Sturdator? I can easy card block black later game. How much are you taking off your cap? You are really risking it. I thought about taking this little plus two here, by the way, or uh, the Walla Bala Benzel, but uh, green's a breaker, right? So there's no chance he's going to let me hold that when it's beside his capital. All that, and you're still obviously the favorite son. Danny and Haney are equal. I didn't come home with the milk for either of them. Left a like on YouTube. Ah, oh, thank you. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Green's already getting ready to ram Dingle Black again. Red's not even retaking. He knows. Dude, uh, Taxmanian Devil on Kick, gifted subscription for the accountant. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yellow is also a breaker. I mean, yeah. If you're right, you're right. I'm not actually trying for a bonus, but I might try. We'll see. I mean, maybe I'll try for this bonus. What's this little sword... It's like an axe handle. Like you'd think this is an axe and that's the handle, but this is part of wall and wall log logging instead of my Lubeck. White's leaving the blue bonus. Coach Gaming with the follow. Thank you, man. Welcome to Twitch. Do I read YouTube chat? I do. They're all combined, so uh I need a kick dance. Dude, kick all the dances are for five gift subs or for five memberships. I don't have a dance for kick. I don't even know how to create one. I don't even know how the snake thing started for YouTube. Don't understand. All oh, three on one smoked. Blue is mad. He didn't take the bonus. Why didn't you try the other three on one, doggy? Black gets to hold this, but if he doesn't hit the green four, I think green breaks him. Green is evil. That's a 9v6, right? Like, he might. He might do it. He's been crazy. Oh, and he's also buffing the back of Green's corner. Green's never getting this bonus. He wins the 3 and one Just kick the chair. <clears throat> the snake happened because someone typed snaking instead of snacking. Oh, yeah, that was it. I love watching you on YouTube while I'm snaking. <laughs> What's up, Machinez? Or, I guess that's just Machine. What's up, Machine? Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Who said kick the chair, ban them? No, no, no. I won't ban anyone. Get a toy saxophone. Green got his bonus now. I mean, if red gets the bonus and I get a bonus, is that friendly? I didn't let him hold, though. There's no alliances. If there was alliances, I think we could both take the bonus and be friends. Do I let him hold for one turn, hoping to be his friend? And then buffs the cat? Okay. All right, I don't hit red. I don't do it. White's not able to break. I like this. Wait, green didn't break black. He, oh yeah, because he did some ram dingling up here. He will next turn. He will next turn. I killed it. I watch you on YouTube. It's been a long time. First time catching you live. Ah, oh, welcome in, man. I'm trying to stream three times a week right now. It was only two week, uh, two times last week, but we're back to three this week. And you subscribed to drop the Prime stuff. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. 
The ocean of cum. Wait, what is... What are you saying? How do I make you dance on YouTube? Five gift memberships. I can't tell you how to... I don't know if you're the Drew or the other Drew. I don't know which Drew you are. Because there's one Drew... No, the other Drew wouldn't be awake right now. There's no way he'd be awake right now. Yeah, you have to be the fake Drew. The other Drew wouldn't wouldn't be awake. It's too early for him. He's a Cali boy. Okay, what do you... Okay. Five or six? He's scared to go... Oh, there's... That's a better five. Yeah, well played. Let's see if Red and I are going to be friends. Maybe Black breaks me. I would be so disappointed if Black broke me. I'd rather he broke Red. I much prefer that. That's a way better idea. Balotelli! I called that guy a dinosaur one time, and now every time I stream, his name's in the chat. What's up, kitty boy? It has been a minute. Is this a new map? No, it's actually an older map. It's a smaller map, so you won't normally see me playing something like this. But it's one of the free maps of the week. I've seen a couple people play Capitals on it, so I thought, I'll try a Capitals game on it. What's the worst that can happen, right? Like, there is definitely easy card blocks. Black's an easy card block, right? He's trapped in this corner. Once he loses the rest of his positions, he's a one, two, three point card block. Uh, Red and I probably have cards for life. I can get card blocked because of white's cap, though. So, something to consider late, later. Green's a very easy card block. He's a one, two out here. Green does break black. Shocked! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Red might go for that, or he leaves me, or just guards for me. He's going for it. No, he knocks the green one out and chills. Black's going to trade. He's going to get three troops plus six. He's going to get 9. He can make a 15. This could be a 15. But if I get his position, it's really good longer term. Or I knock him out. Dude, real tempting. That's real tempting. I'm going to let white go for it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry I was thinking so long. Like, that is such an opportunity. The problem is, if I get the cap, black can make a 15 here and hit me. So if I'm trying to guard from a 15, I need to put, like, a 12 cap. And then what's this cap going to be? A 12 or something? And then white's sitting here looking at my cap and looking at this. It's terrifying. I also have to do extra attacks to knock green out of here. Uh, it, it, it's all bad, and I didn't like it, and I have a wild card, so that's cool. Best chill right now? You already know it? Yeah, yeah. All black set is going into green? Yeah, yeah. You're right, Carter. I, <clears throat> I, I, I like to look at it, though. Like, if I can... I'm always going to consider the aggressive play first and see if, if I can find a way to make it work. Like, can I make this aggressive play be correct? And the more I looked at it, I'm like, no. It's just, it's so wrong. It's so bad. Uh, Dima7, thank you for the, thank you for the, the prime sub, bro. I thank you. And Evil Knievel with the follow. Welcome in, man. Welcome in, Evil. And thank you, Dima. Black actually didn't trade. Green is so dead, basically. Green can also, at any point, come out and continue the Ram Dingle straight from his cap. Also, if Green does anything super stupid, Red goes next. So Red gets to capitalize on it, but if Red sits, I get to capitalize on it. Actually, a little shocked White didn't do anything. Black actually doesn't clean Green out of here. Dude, the 8 is coming through your 3 and smacking your 5. It's a bingo bango time. You have to know that you had... Oh, no, in the tree. Oh, no. Oh, bad dice, but succeed. Okay, and then roll the six. Wow, that was good dice. 
I wanted them to be just slightly worse. Like, I have a three or a four left over. Five's okay. <laughs> Red's gonna yoink it. Okay, well, Fred yoinks that. That's about to go crazy, man. And you know what I think about that? I think we're just in a nice little spot to relax and watch the fun happen. It's all I, I think I have to use my wild card. No, dudes! Send dudes, we're saved. We are saved by the dudes. Go get them. No, white's playing chill. Ring can do it. I thought about it. So, what are you doing? I thought about going logger plots to Norslisher Holson Stentor. Just so Green sees that, hey, he has this line. But then this this Fortify wouldn't be able to come all the way back. So maybe I should have just done... Maybe I should take this bonus. So Green breaks me and then comes all the way. Like, does Green go for the red cap now? He has no trade. Red's got a trade. Whatever Green does, Red's going to kill him, I think. Blue's... Okay. I wouldn't mind this uh, West Lubeck plus four, but I mean, I'm kind of content where I am. I've got the most troops in the lobby, right? Black's on five, man. I bet he bought it. Don't, maybe not. Maybe he is, he's been holding his time. He's going to trade and ram dingle this 10 cap. Black might go for the full suicide slam out of fury. And I wouldn't even blame him. You cannot blame the guy. He actually might even go off this three and try to take the eight cap, but I think he's more likely to come suicide green. Uh, blue ran out of time, twiddling his thumbs after taking a card. Strategy weird. Do a wheel so I can lose my points while I'm here. Uh, is Danny leaving? Uh, have a good day, Danny. I appreciate you being here, man. <clears throat> yeah, everybody's saying I would destroy green now for being an idiot to ruin my game. You're right. Uh, he gets an 8 trade plus 3. He can make a 17. 16, 15, 14, 14 v 10. It loses, probably. What else could he do, though? He's going to try to stay alive. He's going to play the multi-positional game, getting cards and trying to stay alive. I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> What? Dude, have you ever been in a situation where one idiot suicide slams another idiot so that other idiot trades and hits you instead of retaliating? Because that just happened to Blue. I've been in Blue shoes so many times. Somebody suicide slams somebody and then that other person hits me instead of retaliating. I hate it. That's so ridiculous, man. Red gets so many troops now for the double caps. It's so dumb. What was that? This is a funny looking Alcatraz. We just played Alcatraz, Tomax. You missed an epic game. No joke. I think White is like the most passive guy in the world. He's, he didn't go for any of this, right? At some point, he could have taken this from the other two. Now Red's just big boy stacking. Yeah, Red should take this. And if he doesn't knock these two green ones out, he's probably going to feel some of green's tasty time. All right. I'm not doing anything about that. <clears throat> I'm running out of cards to take, though. Green's probably going to break me. But I want to open green to going into red. So we'll do this. I kind of want a 16 to do this. Like, I can't fortify... If I fortify this to here, it blocks green. I thought, although he can go here. Maybe I should have just taken a card in here and then went out. Yeah, thanks. And then go back. Yeah, we'll trade here. Let me trade in one of these pockets, man. I don't want to trap my camp. 
This green dude, like, I can't believe Blue tasted that. Is he? Don't quit off that Duong. Actually, he already took this card and lost like the second half of his turn timer. He might have even lost connection earlier. Yep, numerous times. Yeah, yeah. That moment where one idiot suicides another idiot, so then they hit you instead of retaliating. It's the dumbest thing ever. It's the oldest trick in the book. Oh, you saw the end of the last game, Tomax? Was it green that it was against? It was black. It was black I was against. Take the plus two below green? Oh, I just did. How far back in chat am I? You might be back in the video. Oh, Blue's botting. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Fiesta time. I need to knock Blue out of the middle. I need to knock Blue out of the middle. Oh, this actually connects here, too. I didn't realize that uh, Mark... Th whatever. These things connect. I'm not going to read them. Blue... Black trades on three! Where is your Ram Dingle, sir? Black is such a free kill, but hard to get to. Yep. Not anymore, though. He's full sending on Blue, dog. Oh my god. Dude, if you wait a second, he'll attack off the cap. Oh my god. No, he's breaking me. I should have fucking... I should have not taken this because he would have done this instead. Oh, don't ram dingle me. That's all, that's all you're doing? Okay, I'm good with that. Red gets 14 troops a turn. The hell do I start with? Nine. Eh. Ah. Problem is, my cap doesn't have access to killing people, right? I'm in a bad spot for attacking. Red's cap is excellent. What a weird map. Green had nowhere else to go. Well, no, green's been adding here and hitting this bonus the whole game. So I thought he was going to do it again. Oh, that's good. My cap's open to more stuff now. Oh, crap. This blue four is a problem. Maybe I get away with it? <clears throat> I think I, I think I survived the blue whatever bullshit it does. White's gonna go for the blue kill? I hope not. I was going for the black kill for one card. Okay, or just the capital. Just the capital, right? I don't blame him. That's a good play. White seems very measured in how they're playing the game. Also, red pretty decently measured around how they've been playing, right? Like, it's very clear that it's me, white, and red in the end game. But I'm trying to get a good read on them. That was a pretty good play by white. Yeah, blue attacks, but doesn't break me. Takes a fourth card. So I trade kill blue trade if I get the chance. That's the play. I might even trade kill blue, trade kill black for two. I think I would. I think I would trade kill blue, trade myself down to two cards, and then kill black for two, which would put me on four. Past my turn, I'll be on five at the end of the turn. So trade kill blue, trade kill black, and then sit. Good work. I could probably even clean sweep this. Pop, 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 pop. Green trapped all of his troops inside and didn't even get a card. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Not all of it. Okay. Red may do the plan that I was just thinking about doing. Yeah, he's definitely doing it. I lose my six stack. Yeah. 
He's double killing them. That was the play I saw. No alliances on is going to make this tough, too. How do I team with white and green against red? Don't say well. Dude, white's a cuck. All right. We already know white's going to try to play for second place. What an assumption off one well played. <laughs> Get out of here, Black. Red's on five cards, too. <clears throat> this is unfortunate. He's like, well played. I'm like, sure, let's do it. You know what? Let's be friends. I can do that. That's kind of a little... Look at me. What does this even look like? He's going to knock green out of the bottom or no? He does. And then he's going to take both of these bonuses on the outside. Okay, so now we're going to have a three-player bonus holding where green's like, what am I supposed to do? Green's going to cause the mayhem. And I bet he hits me. Because I look like I hold them. Look at this. What is this? What picture is this? Don't forget to fist bump. I don't need to fist bump. Red understands. We've been homies the whole game. He hit my sixth for the double kill, but I had to understand that that was part of the plan. Part of the game. If green bought... Yeah, I'm tasting it, right? I'm obviously going to taste it from green. I'm just hoping if I do, he also makes red taste it. Oh, oh goes left. Does he take the bonus instead? If he takes the bonus, I'm happy. I've got, I got two plus fours if I don't get broken. 69 stack. 69 troops for green. We give him the old dab salute. It's a dude in a sock kicking an avocado. Yeah, like what is this? Is it a crab? I don't know. Is it a heart? Oh, man. Yeah, that's Red's best card for uh, for not angering anybody in my three stack. That's fine. Does he hit green? Oh, he's blocking green, so green has to come into me now. Green's going to start with four plus a cap is six. Nine. He's going to start with... He can make like a... All right, let's see if this works. Green gets nine, so he could 12v13 or 14v20. And let's see what his fortify does. Let's see, we card block green and go next. Give green a card? No, 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 no. Let's card block green and see what happens. Looks like a badge. <laughs> Should have hit the three? That might have been better, hit the three. The problem is I needed enough troops in to block two positions. Hitting the three might have been better. Oh. He's here. Giga Rex from, I think, Thailand. Fortifies to the 12? Yeah, he's trying all of them, and he's like, oh, I can't get a card. 
Oops. Go to the 12. No. Huh. Well, that's easy to block. Comes here. There we go. All right, we got the card block on green. Uh, this is such a weird, what is this? That's a something, right? It looks like a vag. Vag dingle. I don't know what you're talking about. Be quiet, green is thinking. What's up, Crowlock? First stream I've caught. Hell yeah, man, welcome in. Give the man a card, why? <clears throat> it might be better to give him a card. Like long term, because like green's the one that's gonna cause drama. Ah. Makes a 17 now. We're gonna have to do something about that. Red wants to trade here. I have to trade there, bro. I'm gonna eat it from green, I know it. Oh, I have to use the wild? Come on! <laughs> Come on! Give him a card by smoking red's 40? Oh god, that would cause some stuff. Red's in a really strong spot right now. If I, if I could kill white right here, that'd be fun, but obviously I can't. I would need some serious god dice. Got too many troops, 50 troops trapped up here dealing with green. If he brings his 56 out, he is going to put this in my face. Whether he bots or not, it is coming into my face. So I'm going to have to move. Yeah. Oh, no. Huh. Kind of want to come off of this 23. So green can come through and break red too. <laughs> Red's so far ahead. 284 troops. But it is going to determine how the end game goes. But with card blocking situation, I'm in a tough spot later game. I'm gonna do this. I mean, it's not ideal, but I I don't want to lose a stack to green. I think I need green to cause a little bit of mayhem and get some cards, right? So I'm gonna lose bonuses, but I think I held them long enough. <laughs> Why are you hitting my three, bro? Just take a card up here. Like, what is this, white? You're being friendly with red? <laughs> General champ. Damn it. Playing against a champion. What's my name today? Anonymous. Good, we made anonymous this time. I must phrase these things better. We might think you do like Pete. Wait, phrase what things? Hit the G spot! Oh, God. It's gonna break red too, or break both my bonuses? <laughs> and then the middle one. The middle one, not my five. Leave my five alone. Oh no, my other bonus! Leave me alone! Oh my god, all the way out here. I'll let red card block him if he wants. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Oh no! Red's gonna kill him right now. 
Three cards, 99 for 70. Yeah, yeah. If I'm red, I kill him right now. Pretty sure. Why not? Yeah, this is tough. Fuck. And white's not gonna do anything. Splits a four or a three, rolls a three on one. Oh. If he yeah, he's gonna take the 150. Yeah, red's good. Damn. Look at this. This is some good movement. Red's a good player. Okay. Told you to hit red when? Green came all off cap. That's unfortunate. This is tough. He says well played to me, so we'll see. Maybe white was fist bumping me to fight red, right? We'll see. Maybe he doesn't have the attack emote, right? Like the dun dun! <laughs> he's gonna hit a bunch of red ones and leave me. Red's gonna clean all my stuff, or he's gonna work on a card block on me. But card blocking's hard. I can trade with white down here. He just hits, he only hits the red territories and backs off. Okay. I don't hate that. I have no trade on four, but my cap is strong. How does this work in the end game? <clears throat> red has to decide how to play. Red's a really good player, so. Like if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna view this from uh, a guessing ranks perspective, I think red's the best player. Like I think he's better than white. Yeah, he's just chilling now. He's going to let white hold the whole board and try to get me and white to fight. I like that play. And now we're only looking at three of his capitals. Oh, white takes his 25 cap? Yeah. Well played. I, I, want, I want to give him affirmations because I like that. Okay. I don't hate that at all. Now keep in mind, we're all on 250 troops, aprox. Red and I have a trade. Red's cap is much better than my cap for late game. Yeah, he didn't bot. That wasn't a... He's gonna take a card and pass. Okay, interesting. Okay. We're going to let white hold a bunch. He lost 50 hitting that 25 cap, so that was beneficial for me. If he holds 20 for a couple of turns, it's not the end of the world. I'm also still getting 11, so... As much as I'm falling behind, it's not by a ton. Is Red's plan to trade here and eventually card block White when White takes the whole board, or what?
Like, where, where do I progress from here? This is a tough game. Because I know they're good. White's getting away with murder right now, but I got 60 troops on him. He's about to get 20, though. Red's not closing his cap to you? No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind him being open to my cap, because my cap's strong, and Red's not hitting that. White's buffing this cap because he's got to be a little worried. But I'm not hitting a 150 cap. Not a chance. Yeah. Okay, let's work on our red card block, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Red, you can have the middle of the board. You can have it. I'm going to start trading with white here and see what red does in response to that, right? It's possible that both of these guys are Grandmaster. Which is funny, playing this weird map. I host a weird map with caps and Grandmasters are like, I'm in! Is this the Viking map pack? No, this is an older map. Lubeck. And he's going to start blocking this up. Because that'll be Red's only way in. He's trading? He's not going to like that. Red might actually take a white cap at some point because of this. No. He's going to take cards that give him a bonus faster, though. Okay. Let's see. I, I won't waste time. Let's just... Uh... It's going to take a bit to get there, right? <laughs> but White and I have a pretty interesting trading spot, so let's use it. Right, he trades, he buffs this 11 and this cap. Make sure these are strong. And then we just trade here. And then if red gets fed up, he's going to run into one of white's caps before mine, so. Presumably. If he runs into mine, he's dead, though, so that's fine. GM's getting tired of EU advance all the time? True. I wonder why he's not answering my question until I realize that I'm in the past, not on the live moment on YouTube. <laughs> What's up, Yusef? Okay, red breaks my other bonus now. Let's go! Oh, here we go. Uh, Tax Menian. Tempt red with a weaker cap to hit. Stack some troops in red's 95 face. Maybe he'll try to hit a 125 cap. No, I don't want to... I don't want Red to hit me at all. I'm also pretty sure that Red's just going to... Yeah, he's also starting to block here. White's setting up a card block. Okay. As I said, White and Red, both good players. And my, my earlier presumption was Red's better than White. But, like, really, it's hard to tell, right? White took a great uh, advantageous position, too. After the black-blue capital fiasco that happened over here. And then Red saw the cards that I wanted to take, but he took them, and that's what gave him an advantage. Now, keep in mind, he's only 20 troops up on me, so not an advantage really now. And look at these. Look at these premature stacks. 22, 20, 20. Red sees it. For Red to break out of this, he's going to have to hit some of White's stacks. So White holding all these extra bonuses, he needs them because he's fighting Red. Here it is. Here's the beginning. <laughs> And my cap is now open to Red's cap, by the way. Maybe he didn't mean to, but now I'm open to Red's cap. Audio's lagging? It shouldn't be. I think it's a sock kicking an avocado. What do you think? <laughs> what? 
Actually, I think it's on low latency and not ultra low latency. It's possible. Sometimes it does that. By the way, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, hanging out on Monday with me. I'm having a good time. I hope you are enjoying the game so far. If you're on YouTube, you could help me out by clicking the like button. I would appreciate it. I will only ask a few times during the stream. You don't have to, of course, but I think streams get promoted more if there's more likes. So I would appreciate it. And that's all I got to say on that matter. <clears throat> Sound lagged for one second. It's fine now. Okay. What's up, RJ? Why do you lower the percentage before attacking? Uh, you have a better chance of losing less troops if you do that. Although I'm losing a troop every time anyways, if I roll a 500 on a one, sometimes I'll lose five troops, sometimes I'll lose eight. It's a very rare chance you lose 10 or more. But if I'm just rolling like 15 or 10, I, I can lose one troop, but not really anymore. And he's going to reconstitute this block again. Oh, he forgot to take a card here. That's fine. Red's trying to keep his cap open in all directions, but he's running out of time. He's every he's going to keep closing it. Yep, yeah, hits my four. Now his cap can't go this way. I think it already couldn't, but... Let's go. <clears throat> See if White and me can keep it going, homie style. Let's go. I like this guy. I'm an old timer. I haven't played in a while. No worries. I remember your name, Master. The sound stops every three seconds. Seriously? My OBS is showing that everything seems fine with the sound. I mean, I would recommend if the sound's causing problems, try to restart. But ever since I started streaming with Restream, my YouTube viewers from time to time complain about audio lag. Oh, it's clean on kick, clean on Twitch. Okay, it... Okay, red's still rolling. So what I would say is probably happening if it is on YouTube is the stream is on low latency and not ultra low latency. And I need to change it to ultra low latency before I go live and I forgot to do that today. Its default is just low latency. Oops. So... Restart fixes? <clears throat> okay, so restart did fix for uh, some people. My YouTube sounds good. So probably like close the whole YouTube stream down if there's an audio problem and then reopen it and see how it goes. Yeah, how is it possible if some people have a problem and some don't? I have no idea. Sound is good, sound is good, sound is good. Sound was bugging, had to refresh. Not talking about those lips on the map. It really does look like some lips. I mean, you guys said it first, not me. So right now, white's trying to set up the card block on red. Every trade red's punching through here. Right, this is a nice little two point. We're trying to get red slowly. Is there a way I can help? Yeah, red's taking another one. White sees the long term here. I'll put it here. I'm going to try to make red hit some of my stacks too. Let's show some good faith with white. Red's cap is now completely closed off from this left section. He's slowly taking the cards he doesn't want to take. And uh, the longer it goes, next turn he's going to trade and hit a bunch of stuff, but white's going to come back with a trade as well. Right? That's a card red didn't want to take. Now he took it. That's really good. C. Carter 1996 cheered X1000. I think Red should just take the entire board right now, generate all those extra troops, and threaten suicide against White. Damn, Chad, you trying to get him to threaten everything? I mean, he could try, I guess? White and I could start slider blitzing into him. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he lost 45 on the 28. Okay, and then he gets this one. How do I help? I go through this top, right? I want to help.
This is my way of helping, kind of, right? <clears throat> I'm making red hit other- I I'm contributing troops to fucking red up too. White is- I, I don't want white to be the only one putting troops in trying to make the block happen. So I am also not in a position- like we don't want me to attack through red and set stacks over here. So I'm at least going to contribute stuff to hit, to slowing red down or hurting red a little bit, right? I want I want to show my good faith as best as I can, even though I'm not in a position to kind of hold everything and and use the extra troops to, right? I, I'm I'm still behind white in troops, but we're both ahead of red now. But uh, yeah, making red hit sixes and elevens and stuff. If he's not slidering too, he didn't slider this twenty eight and he lost forty five on it. So if you hit sixes without slidering, you can lose twenty troops. I hit say well played. Also, 10v6 is not 100%. So he could actually lose rolls like that, which would be funny. And all this is, is what, 10, 20, 30? It's like 50 troops invested here. I'm, I, I'm trying to help. It's only 50 troops. It's like a third of a trade, but it is a little bit of help. Dab the 69 stack? Where? Boom! Good. Making my turns quick. <laughs> Red's gonna trade and come through some stacks of white again. But you can see white is now 70 troops ahead of me because white red's been hitting some of my troops here and white's getting to hold a bunch of the board. So then red trades, hits a couple 35s, me and white even out, but red falls further behind. And then red's still finding out that he's going to be blocked soon. So it's working. <clears throat> white is making mistake clinging on his bonuses, I think, giving back red cards. Uh, so it's not that bad because he's using the bonuses to get the extra troops that he's using to block with. Like, this is fair. This is an even trade. It's fine. White and I are even again. Red goes back to cap. And then he, re he resets that up, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm also going to show a little bit of camaraderie to white by making more stacks more annoying for red. <laughs> See, I'm 18 troops behind white. Pretty good. I lose this 50-ish, 60-ish troops. And white's going to lose another 70 over here at some point, And then all of a sudden, red will be blocked. One more rotation of what we've been doing, and red should be blocked. Red goes right before you, so they could suicide white and pray for second. I mean, he could, he could try that. There's no alliances. Like, there's, there is options for the, the full suicide threat. You are right, Carter, of course. <clears throat> but, like, many Grandmasters have different strategies on how they play, so it's it's curious to see how this one's going to turn out. I don't hate my spot. White's in a good spot, too. Red's in a really bad spot, the way we're teaming him, though. I, I This is a good game, though. Like, these are... Neither of these guys is intermediate. I would be shocked if they're not both Grandmasters. At the very minimum, they're both masters or grandmasters. But they they're just straight they're they're showcasing enough skill. This could lose. Uh imagine it lost, that would have been funny. They're showcasing enough skill that uh they could get Grandmaster if they're not already. So I'm just gonna go on the assumption and say we're playing with two Grandmasters right now. What sound was that? That was a kick follow, I believe. Whoever just followed on kick, thank you. Welcome in. 700 troops, how does this game last with this? How long? We, uh, I'm not sure. Another kick follow, thank you. Red's got three more cards, four more cards until like the blocks start coming. Go on, hit a 12 stack with no slider, dog. See, because if I if I wasn't contributing stacks like this, white might still be doing the exact same thing. But if I wasn't, I would be gaining troops over white, and then white might stop liking this, thinking he's the only one doing this. 
So if I'm losing troops with him against red, at least it's camaraderie, right? Teamwork. Red trades on four to do this. If he hits the 14, maybe I try something. He's not going to hit the 14, or does he? Ah, he leaves stacks out. He's trying to card block white now. So, if he hit this 14, I was going to come off to 25 and hit some stacks. But he didn't hit the 14, so I'm not going to hit white's 14 to do this. I, I, I want white to see me as an ally. Yeah, he's going to clobber all of that. And now red's only on two cards, so he's forced to hit the 12. Well, he could hit this white one and close his 95 off. Keep in mind, I can, I guess at any point, take this 95 cap if I want, but... I don't hate this. This is decent. White's good. I think this trade, I'm going to put more troops in red's face. Right, because I want to, sh I want to show solidarity. I'm fifty troops up on red plus a trade now. Red's feeling it. He has to hit a twelve, or block his cap. Honestly, I wouldn't be. I uh, blocking this is actually bad because then this cap can't do the reach around. Oh, he's doing it. Lost eighteen on my twelve too, but he looks like he's doing more stuff. Is he hit this two hundred cap? Oh wow! All right, red does not like being card blocked. He runs out of time. I'm taking this cap and fortifying on it. No. Nope. What's he leaving? Grab his dick and twist it! Oh, I'm twisting, baby! What's the most viewers I've had on Kick at once? Probably like 40 or something. I I, I did uh, when I was only streaming on Kick. Hmm. Bro, a Doyle rules. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm like 200 troops up on on uh, white now, so I'm gonna just do this. I put two fifties in red's face. Red's gonna hit the fifties. Go for it, dog. This is me showing I'm on team white. I'm on team white right now. Doyle rules. W1 Pro with the gift sub. Thank you so much, bro. And then Carter again with the thousand bits. Uh, I'm sure I thanked you, but thank you again, man. As always. Nino Savant with the follow. I think I missed that. Thank you. Welcome to Twitch. We're at seven. Send others that can view multiple streams at a time. Yeah, because I there was a period of time for a few months where I only... where I, On Thursdays, I did a kick stream, and it was only kick. So sometimes I, I think... Like, normally it was like 20 viewers or 25, but I think we got up to like 40 at some point. <laughs> What's this? Uh, okay, Red's going to open the 200 and allow him to do something. Oh, he's doing a reach around into the 69. Double slam in the 69? Oh, he gets it. So he wants to card block white or what? The problem is, okay, you guys, some of you might be like, why the fuck aren't you over here helping? The problem is, anything I do to come out gives red cards. The only way I can really help is, like, leaving these stacks in his way. And white does the card block, and then red has to hit my stacks. Like, I'm trying to help. I'm not trying to be a douchebag. That's why I'm putting the 50s here, right? If I wasn't even putting 50s or st stacks in red's way, that would be being douchey. Expecting white to do everything. I'm trying... As best as I can to contribute to this. And I think White's good enough that he understands. So he's not going to give me a card here. I'll have to hit this one, but I'm, that's okay. Or I go in front of the 97 stack with a 50. Or I trade and take the 97 cap.
Interesting. Interesting proposal. One eighty trade. He's gonna hit my fifties or the thirty-five. I'm okay either way. It's the thirty-five. Is he coming out with that? He does. What? Are you listening to me? Bro. Uh, uh, little sus that I'm going to hit his cap and he fortifies off when I say that. Little sus, right? No? I mean. I don't know. <laughs> We're keeping the card block on red, though. Trade early, too. Gives white a trade. <laughs> what, red's trying to make white dislike you? I know, and I'm trying to help white. Like, uh, red's playing well. White's playing well. I'm trying to play well also, right? I'm not saying I'm doing it perfectly, but I'm trying my best to work with white. I'm not going to backstab white. If, if, if red makes white hate me and white turns on me, then I'm not doing my job right, right? So I need to do everything I can to show White I'm on his team. <clears throat> because if White turns on me, then, okay, I, I I don't think I lose off of that, but then that prolongs the game a lot. I, I want to just go one and two with White all the way, right to the end, right? There we go, he hits that. Does he go all the way in? I don't think so. He's putting that in White's face? Hmm. Huh. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. White doesn't have a trade. I need to show white I'm on his team. I could have took a card and done nothing. I need to show white I'm on his team. That's what I'm saying. If I take a card and do nothing, I might win the game next turn. But if I don't, I might also have white turn on me. So I'm not... What? Don't tell me... Okay, okay. He was trying to fortify. He wasn't lining up to hit me. I need to show white I'm on his fucking team. <clears throat> I think 100 troops blitz into red stack there, leaving a 30. I think that's enough to show I'm on his team. I still have monster lip? How? What's up, Dima King? Thanks for the uh, Twitch follow, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Red trade on three can take that cap. Oh, no. Oh, he's not. He's going to suicide him. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, Red could have came down the reach around and stolen this cap and then tried to do the trade with me. I wouldn't have done it because I'm on Team White. So I, obviously I can end the game right now. That's good enough.
Oops. What? I thought I'd have enough troops left over just to cap run, and I actually didn't. <laughs> Let's have a game, boys. What did I do on that red roll? Hold on, red's cap? 765. Yeah, okay. I was expecting like 550, 600. <laughs> You gonna take another cap? That's fine. Taking two caps? All the caps? <laughs> Does Red try to card trade with me? Okay, he doesn't. I I'll just kill him then. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Mistakes were made. I fucked up. Okay. Interesting. I wanted Red to take more cards in there, but if Red's not- Red's like, I'm not giving you more cards, fuck that. I mean, I could lose. I don't think I will, but I could lose. Kilted messing things up, you don't see that too often? Yeah. The, the thing is, I was expecting better dice rolls. I got a- I don't know what my roll was on this, but I had enough for a cap run, I thought. And, uh, I didn't get it. Maybe. Maybe I didn't have enough? I don't know. Alright, well, we get an interesting 1v1, and I'm down for it, so. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Can't break this bonus without opening up the cap, which is fine. One, two... Yeah. You can't get to that, right? Those don't connect. Oh, I might lose. Fuck. Self-inflicted hard mode. Yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. White deserves an equal 1v1, right? Or a close. If I sat back for like one or two more turns, I win for free easy, but like not be not doing that kind of hurt a little bit. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Does he have a trade, do you think? Two ten. Ugh. Trade on three? Dude, okay. <laughs> Four fifty one. He has 
400 on cap. So that doesn't win. I mean, this 100 could kill maybe 80. So I'd have 451 to kill a 100, 120, and a 92. Here we go. Big balls. No. All right, all right. We get a trade on three, and he has no trade on four. Good game, bro. You can take the win. <laughs> ah! Why you do this? I mean, I'm playing for fun, right? If I lose, I lose. It's okay. <laughs> I like this guy. I'll send him hearts. I can't send him hearts. Done lucky. So, if you guys don't understand what happened, I had like a 100% win. But I went for a very risky, flashy, styly kill on red and white, red into a white cap run, which actually put us closer to an even game. And then I'm like, all right, the first time being flashy didn't work. So let's try and be flashy the second time. The second time didn't work also. So we got second. That's what happened. You got terrible rolls on literally every cap. Well, I did, I, I got a good roll on this one. I lost 101 on 100, so. Unlucky? No, you did this to yourself. I didn't say unlucky. I said, I didn't get the flashy finish the first time. I didn't get the flashy finish the second time. But we got second place, and we had an epic game. I had fun. Oh, man, I'm actually surprised he's just an expert. Red Master makes sense. Uh, these guys, all of these ranks make sense. I These guys are Master Grandmaster, I would say. They both played very well. Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone else said unlucky. No, no, th that very first cap roll, 101 on 100 was good. I got very unlucky on the 0% Blitz. If it killed 80, I probably get the kill. And then I got, there was some really unlucky cap rolls though. The first time I tried to be flashy, hitting the red cap and hitting this white cap, which is what didn't let me end it the first time. But I mean, I'm here for fun, man. I'm not here always to win. So if you're joining on YouTube, thank you for hanging out to the end of this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.